Hello everyone, this is TSET ABCD and welcome to another Katan video here on my channel. So playing the base game uh, in the ranked mode here, I am in the second position. And I was going to say 6, 5, 10 looks like a pretty good settlement spot. I'm noticing that um, there is yeah, it's, it's a difficult board here. Like I can go for something like 8, 4, 11 with the option of going for the brick port and the sheep port. Or maybe I go for 9, 5, 10 with the option of going for the ore port. Yeah, maybe something like 9, 5, 10 and 9, 10 as my second placement. I mean, the production is a little lacking. I like 6, 9, over here but the option the third tile there is a 12 which is not something that i'm too keen on instead of 9 5 10 i think maybe 6 3 4 seems to be a better choice because so ore and brick have uh, do not work hand in hand whereas wheat and wood at least i can build some settlements using these two resources together. I will have access to the wood port. And then for my second placement, I can even go for 8, 10, like getting ore, wheat, sheep, and then with the wood port, I can convert wood into either wheat or ore, depending on what I need. And uh, let's see, I mean, if I go for 6, 3, 4, I think red will go for something like 8, 5, 3 or 9, 5, 10. I mean, I'm going to run out of time. I think I'll just go for 6, 3, 4 here. Yeah, it's a difficult boat to get a good placement. And especially with the desert tile being in the center, it is, there's a good chance that Black and I will have to place our second settlements on the edge of the board or sharing with the desert. I don't think 8, 4, 11, 8, 4, 11 will be open for me. So red does go for 9, 5, 10. That was the second spot. I mean, that was the other spot that I was considering here. And now green can go for something like 9, 4, 2, 8, 5, 3 point up. It's a risky move pointing up. Maybe point to the right on the 9, 4, 2 spot and then point to the left. Or actually, I mean, I would even consider something like 853 and 8411 get access to the sheep port. And with the amount of sheep that you produce, I think that can be a very, very good setup. But you are completely dependent on the sheep port. Like you need the sheep port for literally everything because you don't produce any weed, no ore and uh, very little wood. The problem is like if I go for 810, I do spoil red's setup and then red might be I don't know red uh, as a player. So if red gets frustrated or irritated because of 810 placement, I can be in some trouble because red might just target me throughout the game. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like that is exactly the setup that uh, green went for with the sheep port points to the right. So is thinking of getting a settlement on five, four, but I don't think five, four will be open. Like red most likely goes for five, four. Or maybe red can consider six, 
3.11 But if red goes for 6.3.11 Do I go for 5.4? Point to the right I either get a settlement on 9.4.2 or maybe 9.11 And I'm fine with either of those placements, right? Because those give me overproduction I mean, 942 isn't a bad option either. Mm -hmm. So do I go for 942 point up? And then where does black want to go? I think black will go for 911. I mean, 3, 11, 12 surely doesn't look like a good spot. I mean, the production there is just, uh, just bad, to be honest. Here, I mean, I can play a little bit of spoiled sport and go for 9, 4 myself. Basically blocking all the sheep spots. Like, I will block 9, 4, 2, I'll block 9, 11 and 5, 4. But do I want to do that? Do I think black will go for 5-4 here? I don't think so. And if I point up, then I'm racing with... I'm racing with black. Sorry, I'm racing with green. And green has brick production, whereas I don't have any. Green will also have sheep production. Yeah, I don't think so. It is worth the risk. So I'll go for 5-4 here. And I'm pointing to the right, giving me options of either 911 or 942. And I think 911 is realistic. Yeah, I mean, here red can thought I would do for 810 as well. Here, I mean, nobody has any brick, right? I mean, red has, but then red is surely not sharing brick here. Obviously, I mean, I do not expect red to trade away a break. 
does red have any ore i don't think so maybe red has a yeah red does not have any ore in hand either because the first roll was a seven i rolled a three which doesn't help too many people here green solo blocks black i mean here i will block this hopefully i get a break okay i get a wheat which doesn't help me And an eight hasn't rolled yet, right? Yeah. I have seen a lot of comments, people telling me that I need to manage my hand better, and uh, also that I need to be a little careful of the cards that opponent has. So I will try and focus on tracking. Let's see. Maybe if I get an ore over here, okay. Red immediately rejects that trade. Maybe if I get this trade, I might do, be able to do a four is to one. Yeah, but I mean here, if nobody is going to accept any trades, then I'll just have to end my turn. I mean here I'm getting an ore, so I'll accept it. At least I can buy a dev card. I know red will be building towards the ore port. I'll be very surprised if red builds towards a three to one port. Although, I mean, that is not a bad choice with the wheat that they produce. Okay, green accepts that trade, so I'll accept it as well. Yeah, I would like red to be trading with me rather than with anyone else. Green does get a strong settlement here on the sheep port. Okay, luckily black isn't trying to plow me there. Let's see, if I get this settlement, I will be very, very happy. Green does have two bricks in hand. Yeah, green accepts it. I should be building towards the wood port, but I don't want to take any risks. I would rather have a settlement on the old tile here, right? No, I still think the wood port is important. And I'll buy a dev card. I would have preferred something like a year of plenty or actually year of plenty would be the best case scenario. Just buy a couple of bricks and get a road settlement. I mean, green does look very scary with the current setup that they have. Already has a city now. Okay. Let's see. I mean, I can build a road here towards 9-11, which surely doesn't seem to be a bad choice for me.
here. I would like to get some trade. I mean, now I'm just considering maybe I get a trade like this. Okay, I'm going to run out of time. So I need to decide quickly. I could have had a city there if I got a trade for ore. But uh, yeah, here I'll just end my turn. So let's see. I mean, this gives me a city, so hoping that somebody accepts it, but I don't think there is a lot of, uh, I don't think there is a lot of, uh, or out there. Yeah, this is an expensive trade. Okay. I will accept with black here. Now I think my focus should be to get a city on 634 and on 911. I can also try and get a settlement on 63. So I have at least one dev card in hand here. I think I'll just buy a dev card. Okay, I do get a knight, which is completely fine because I think the nine or four wheat and the five sheep are all blocks. Yeah, here I would love to get a trade, but if I don't, I'll just hold on to these cards for now. Because I need to get a city, a couple of nines did roll. I mean, red has to block the five sheep, right? That's an easy choice. Okay. Black might play a knight. Okay, doesn't play a knight, which is a little scary, to be honest.
here i will surely play a knight i mean i should not have played the knight right because this puts me over seven cards and i am immediately punished for it okay red accepts it i get a sheep so i mean red is more than happy to get sheep right it's a resource they don't produce yeah i should not have played my knight because in the end i still end up blocking the five i mean if a six rolls for 6 and a 10 rolls maybe i can ask red to help me connect luckily i am on zero card so even if the nine ore is blocked sorry yeah even if the nine ore is blocked i don't get targeted here i can either buy a def card i think red will accept this trade uh let's see if green accepts this i'm basically trying to buy a def card in a way where i can get a secure army okay i get a monopoly i'm completely fine with that a uh, monopoly on wheat or ore is quite possible on this board your not much that i can do Okay so now monopoly on ore surely seems to be an option especially if uh, i roll a 9 or a 5 i think i'll go for it instead i roll a 12 which doesn't help me much let's see if i can get this trade Or I mean, if I don't get any trade, what do I do? Do I just let's see? If I'm just trying to buy a dev card, right? This is also an option. Green accepts it. Here I will trade with green. Okay, I get a road builder, so that can help me secure the longest road. But uh, getting army seems more difficult now. So green most likely blocks the nine ore. Black will play a knight. The black keeps soloing me, which is frustrating. your i have to self block myself but my win condition is just getting a single city right i don't need cheap for it i still need to buy a def card but then i have the monopoly which i can use to either play it on sheep if a few fours roll yeah and black takes army here Okay black doesn't have a knight but now black might have it
let's see if anybody is willing to accept it i might play a monopoly on wheat or if i get this trade then i can play a monopoly on ore i mean i can play a monopoly on ore anyway but i would like to get some trade Let's see. Okay. So here I can just get a city or do a buy dev card. I mean, if I think black is going to take army next turn, then I should just focus on getting a city, maybe build to seven. No, I still think buying dev card makes sense. And I'll end my turn here. Because if black does not have a knight here, I can take army. And a single four will give me a city. Okay, so I have a city in hand, but um, yeah, black will steal from me. Here. Yeah, I will continue to target black. I still think I should be buying dev cards because I can get a city later on but um, yeah, I know black does not have a knight. Okay, so this secures army for me. Yeah, I don't have any threes to one port. So. Okay, uh, black doesn't get a sheep here, which is a good thing actually. Red is also trying to take army. I need a four to roll. Here, hopefully I don't lose my wood because wood still gives me some chance. Okay, does steal a word. So now either a four or a six helps me win the game. Ah, let's see. I mean, maybe, okay, luckily orange isn't, sorry, green isn't taking army. So maybe I should have unblocked myself. But I know red is going to take army next turn, so I have to play this. I do get the wheat, but I'll end my turn here. Steals my ore. So I have a win in hand here. Unless black has a monopoly here, I have a win in hand. Because a monopoly on wheat could be game over for me or maybe a role like that. Okay, so black isn't going to block the nine over, right? So, but I mean, I, I still lose a card here. Yeah, so now there is no way I can win in this turn. Unless I get a sheep. 
and green is the only one who will have any sheep here. I have to try it. Okay, I get a word. Yeah, I did not need that card at all. Yeah, and red wins the game. So I got very close, but the sevens in the end cost me the game. I surely made a mistake by not playing my knight earlier. Yeah. Overall, I mean, it was a back and forth game. I came very close. I was just maybe one or two rolls away from winning and maybe I did not play my card, play my knights correctly. Maybe if I had unblocked the nine ore, I would have had an extra ore in hand and I would have gotten a wheat from red. So I had a chance of buying a dev there after a four is to one but yeah it is what it is so let's take a look at the leaderboard so that was my ninth placement game and uh, yeah, let's take a look at the history because i don't remember what is my win percentage this season But I'm pretty sure it's been quite poor actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think these were the last nine games and I have won only two out of them. So yeah, not great. But let's see. Anyway, uh, bye for now and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.